after Arana Jr. started this season in such spectacular fashion. Three consecutive wins. Then that stretch of five in a row where you didn't have a chance to hold a wallet. How good does it feel to be back in that groove right now? Man, it feels great. <laughs> Told you I was going to go back to my old routine. My team is doing an excellent job. I have my girlfriend Nicole there to start in line with me. Finally got a win here with her at the races. My whole family on my mother's side, they came from California, or from Florida and Oregon, everywhere over here in California now, and they're all watching me, so I was able to do it for them. And uh, Rick Reynolds, Luke Soul, Matt TV, Protect the Harvest, Worldwide Bearings, Pack, Grayson Springs, and... Uh, Man. Who else am I forgetting? Just pan the camera. Pan the camera over here. We went through that everybody to get some TV earlier. time. We gotta go. CP Pistons, ARP, one more win than his dad. That's special too. Congratulations. All right, Cooper. Extra hard, baby. just says you're going to Disney World. You're undefeated in California. How special does that feel? Oh, it's a great feeling. But you know what? More importantly than that, I want to say our thoughts and prayers are with Julie Mitzos. She lost her mother. Uh, pretty emotional win here. Uh, also, my friend Nick, he was in a terrible uh, bike accident and he's doing great. You know, it's just all falling into place for us. But you know what? Thanks to Mellow Yellow, Napa Water Parts Mopar, we got our car in the winter circle and that's all that matters. Congratulations, Mitzos. <laughs> And as Ron Caps pulls that helmet off, celebrates his third win at this racetrack in four years, 40th of your career. So many good numbers and a whole shot to boot wow. against John Force. So, how special is all of that? This is deja vu. Uh, a lot of battles with the old man Force up here on the hill. Wine country. John Cardinelli. This, I, I wanted to win here so bad, Gary. John Cardinelli meant everything to everybody here. Um, Mellow Yellow, thanks for sponsoring the series. And... Uh, just my, this is why my favorite track, man. It's, uh, I can't say enough about Ron Tober. There's no hole shot. There's no big Lewis Bloom stats without the people that I've been able to work for and drive for. Don Schumacher. I didn't want to get him shut out today. I needed something to get in there. I had to get up for it. But uh, tell you, John Forces, if you can't get up for that old man, whether it's sitting on a couch having a beer or, uh, or racing with him like I have, uh, there's just nothing like it. So thank you, Napa Auto Parts. Lost on a whole shot at Norwalk, comes back to win on a whole shot at Sonoma. <laughs> Langdon, how much special incentive is there when Shea Khaled is here for the first time this season to watch you in action? 
Yeah, yeah, you know, we've been missing him out here. He came out last year in Indy, and uh, we've been talking to him on the phone. We've been keeping in contact with him. He watches every weekend, but definitely special to have him out here. You know, we appreciate everything he does, the whole country of Qatar, everything they do for us. But that final round, man, I remember 13 years ago, Morgan and I were playing that NHRA main event game on the computer, and 13 years later, we're out here racing in the final round. But we're in wine country right here in Sonoma, great track, great facility. You know, Melly Yellow Drag Racing Series at its finest right now. And, you know, it's good to have Redline Oil, Toyota, everybody on board. But, uh, man, that was crazy. That thing broke the, I think it broke the blower belt. I'm sitting, I'm like a sitting duck there, and I'm just kind of trying to scoot it along the way. But got the win. Good job to uh, Alan, Brian, all the crew guys, man. Excellent job. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Big eye, Sean. Woo! Woo! Sports Week in Review. It's Monday. The reason I'm doing it on Monday because I had a visitor came and I want to spend time with him. And plus his kids were mean the heck out of me. <laughs> so, anywho, let's get down to the NASCAR. Um, Newman, popular win for the team. I mean, it's a great, I mean, it was a great win, guys. He deserved it. I mean, after he'll be, he'll be leaving next year. So it kind of makes him a little bit more noticeable for a ride next year. So you never you never know who might pick him up. I mean, maybe 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 Michael Walter Bracy might pick him up. Maybe maybe he might go back to Penske for a third car. You just don't know. So, but yeah, I mean, uh, but anywho, uh, and then next week I think they're heading to Pocono. Yes, I think so. I think. Yes, and Pocono, so, and now on ESPN. And plus, in the NASCAR news, I heard they were they were returning to NBC sometime too soon, so, yeah. So, NBC will be back with NASCAR, and 
gosh, why can't CBS get him back? Ugh, been waiting. So, <laughs> but anywho, um, uh, another uh, news for NHRA. Well, what a day at Sonoma Nationals. The, 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 there's a lot of whole shot wins. There was some action, some, uh, but, but I do say action, Johnny Gray, uh, he had quite a, quite the explosion. He wasn't too happy about it, so he was ticked. But yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, none of them are going to sweep the the the, 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 the uh, swing this year. Cruz lost in round one, Mass lost in round two, and Johnson lost in the semis. So, so the so the, 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 the there'll be no Western Swing winners. They head to Seattle, which is my home track. Well, can't watch it actually, but it's raceways. Can't yeah, wait. Friday we'll, we'll be qualifying at 5:30 delayed on ESPN3, and then qualifying and the race at 2 Eastern, 11 my time. I'm gonna be ready to watch it. Oh, oh, oh yes, all day. Enjoy my O'Reilly Entree Northwest Nationals. That's why I love the Western Swing because because most time. When they do it, it ends there. I love it. But, uh, and also, guys, some more news. In, on August, I think August, I think it's the 15th and the 17th, I mean, 16th, 17th, and 18th, I'll be in Smoke Can, Washington for the Napa Night of Fire for the third time in a row. So, and I heard it's going to be a little bit better. Uh, they'll have nostalgia funny cars, they'll have jet cars, they'll have two top fuels going down the track during the night, and uh, and plus there'll be some entertainment, some wheel standards, and all that other good stuff, so I'll be enjoying it. I actually enjoyed it the last two years, so it sounds like it's going to get better this year, so I can't wait. And plus I've been the pits down to uh, last year. Uh, my uh, first year I went there, I did go down the pits because he, because yeah, I had a pass, so well, last year it was all for free, so... I don't know what this year is going to be, but yeah, I'm going to enjoy it. Get to see some of the guys take it on. Some guys you probably never heard of much before. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you, you all, all you guys heard of, of Austin, Bucky Austin. Uh, he actually tunes tunes his own car. I think his driver is Chris Kerbal, Krebel or sorry, I can't pronounce his name right. But anyway, yeah, if you get a point, that's his car right there. If you can't see it, but yeah, but. Uh, and also, uh, and also another n n n n Northwest driver, he he was on the, the entry tour tour called Twig Ziggler. He he also tunes his car, and he and he has a driver called Jim Obelak who drives for him. And also, guys, a little history of Twig, Twig, Twig Ziggler. He used to be here in Pendleton. He used to be a teacher up at the Blue Mountain Community College, which is here in Pendleton. So he's a Penn Pendleton native, and he's out there drag racing. It's awesome. And uh, and plus, uh, I don't know about other drivers, but I mean, Gary Denton was there last year. I don't know if he'll be there this year, but yeah, he, he was there last year and he lost in the second round. But yeah, can't wait. It's going to be awesome. And WE, well, Damien Sandow went fishing for his Money in the Bank suitcase, which I'm sure he got it back. And uh, and now a little robbery will be between between Cody Rhodes and Damien Sandow, and I bet it will be a match at SummerSlam. I, I wouldn't doubt it. And also, speaking of SummerSlam, a match was made between Punk and Lens in a Lesnar. I was about to say Lesnar. But yeah, between them two, and plus Paul Heyman on, in Brock's corner. So, but, anywho, it's going to be a pretty good match coming up to SummerSlam. And plus, SummerSlam is on that Sunday, I'll be in Spokane, so I might just might catch a glimpse of it at a, at a friend's house, so can't wait. Um, many who I'm not quite sure what's going to happen on Raw tonight, I'll go, I will check it out for you. Hmm. I have raw results. Mark Henry t t t t team up with the, with the Usos against the Shield. Oh. Huh. 
No, I see him was on the Total Diva show. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Hey, if Tag Team War, Mark Henry and team up with the Usos against the Shield later tonight. WWE Champion John Cena battles right back in, in Tables match. That's right, I forgot about that. And former partners, Dan Bryan and Kane swear off. That's right, I forgot about that too. Yeah, I forgot all about, all about those matches facing off. And RVD defeated Von Dango in a count out. This is live raw results. I'm, I'm, I'm actually reading right now. Make that uh, four pages. And there's the tag teams. The U.S. tag teams, the Shield, the defeated Mark Henry and the Usos. And Daniel Bryan, and Daniel Bryan could confront him with Mr. McMahon, so... Huh. So, see what happens more on Raw. So... Anyway, NFL, no news. Just waiting for the day to count down between my Dolphins and my Seahawks, so... Cool with that, and Blazers finished off camp on a good note, so... I have a good season. Just gotta... See how they, how they do. How they uh, cooperate in, team, in the team chemistry and all that stuff. And that's the big key, is the team chemistry. You need to get everything together. And, uh... MLB, well, here, I'll check it out. Oh, yeah, MLB, yesterday. Ho, oh, oh. ho, I bet all you Yankee fans were saved by the grace of New York. Yankees, Derek Cheater, Jeter has returned. But still, he'll not be good enough, because Yankees are still done. They're in fourth place in the ALS standings, and I don't care how many games are left there, are done. Jeter won't save them. I guarantee it. And they almost lost, too, to the Rays yesterday. So they're... I say they're done. Uh, yeah, nothing going on. I'll see no Yankee game going on. So, yeah. How do I know? That's Mets. Ha. Huh. Yeah, I mean, guys, last Sunday, didn't catch it. Boston won on a 11th inning homer, which was awesome! So that really... Made my day good. We went we heard about that last Sunday. So, but anyway, on it. It's a football. It was uh, media day. Let's see if there was anything else. <laughs> the commissioner of the Pac-12 really slammed down uh, uh, DirecTV because DirecTV doesn't want to pay the Pac-12 network. And uh, he was kind of slamming to, to direct TV downs. It's like, if you Pac-12 fans want the a Pac-12 network on Direct TV, then drop your Direct TV station now. That's what he said. Really? So he was making Direct Direct TV on a bad note because Dish is the only one who gets Pac-12 network. I wish to get it for a Charter. So I, I wish he could slam Charter so we can get it. Well, I mean, I get it for a Charter, but. They might not happen, but yeah, he, he kind of slammed down. Plus, he and plus he called the NCAA to, to make it a fair even because you actually know those big six conferences: the ACC, uh, the Big Twelve, the Big Ten, uh, Pac-12, uh, Matt West, in the SEC. All them. I mean, they're the ones who are starting to get noticeable. But what about the other ones, like the Sun Belt and the CUSA, the uh, Big East, which is called the American Conference. I mean, those smaller ones, how come they won't get much popular? Now, Notre Dame, I can understand their history, because they're independent, but, yeah, let's get these other ones in, in into the spotlight. So, so at least he was helping for other conferences out to, to get no more noticeable by, by the NCAA. So, it might work, it might not. Who's to say, but... And also, in one more year, those, that, 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 that playoff spot will hit next year, so wait for that. Same way, uh, plus Johnny Menzel's been getting into a little bit more trouble. He was at a party at Texas, uh, Texas Low Longhorns, at a, a type, type of special party. I forgot what it's called. It's for college students and different groups and everything. Anyway, one guy told him to get the blank out. And, uh, 
and uh, I guess he threw a beer can at him or something, but I don't know if the guy didn't like him or he was causing trouble. Don't know, but Manziel starting to get himself in trouble. It what more sounds like. So if Manziel keeps this up, he won't be playing football next year if he keeps doing these dumb activities. They're not in, players are not invisible. They can get in trouble no matter who they are. That simple. And, uh, other news, other news. So, college basketball, haven't heard anything. Uh, other sports, uh, nothing much. I haven't heard nothing else going on, but, but, anywho. Hey guys, here's my, here's my music choice of the week. Darkwing Duck, the, f the first stage, Quacker Jack stage, it's a boss, Quacker Jack, so yeah, yeah guys, I'll be, I'll be doing that game later on in the future, I actually practiced it with this NES path the, the, the other day, got used to it, so, so yeah, I'll be doing that a little later on, so anyway, so far, so, I haven't gotten nothing else to mention much in news and everything, it's been all plain Jane, pretty much, so nothing too exciting. Excited, but um, but yeah, about what happened yesterday, my uh, two little cousins was wrestling me, and uh, and uh, one of them who was kind of small, but she she's small, she kept a jump on my stomach, my ribs, and my back, and man, it hurt. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, we're just playing wrestling on my bed, and we're just kind of fooling around, having fun, so but that's why it's just it's fun, but yeah, I was. I am a little sore today from it, but not too bad as I actually I thought it would have been, but it, but I'm fine. No big deal. So, hey guys, video's coming next. Um, got the rest of the M19 coming. And, uh, yeah, Crush Hour, guys, season mode, yeah. I can't do it. it the uh, disc reads an, reads an error. It skips on no one of their advertisements that they actually do during season mode. You actually know those that telev doing television thing and take, taking over there doing little shows on stuff. Yeah, that's what's kind of happening because in the first one when we did Cooking with Kane, it kind of skipped or actually had an error in it, and I just didn't want to suffer through that, guys. I didn't want to get through that. But yeah, I was uh, looking at the disc and it does have a little mark on it that I did not notice. So, so yeah, anyway, sorry. I've been looking, sorry, so sorry. I've been uh, looking forward to it, but it happened. So, hopefully I'll try to get the PS2 version and see if I can get that one going unlocked all the characters and all that stuff and we'll get to it so so guys that's it uh yeah pretty much that's it wrestlemania 919 then wrestlemania uh here comes the pain and then day of reckoning and then uh then uh w smack versus raw I'll be doing raw and smackdown season mode on that one and we'll get all to it so oh wait scratch smackdown versus raw i it's the same season mode sorry about that guys it's the same season mode on that one so i think i'm not sure but on uh, Here Comes the Pain, I uh, actually we might do SmackDown and might and actually might go back to Raw on uh, WWE uh, uh, W Raw for SmackDown. So it will plus on Day of Reckoning. It just kind of goes varies through the story. So, so guys, that's it. Take care. Just don't do anything dumb while you're drinking. Just take it easy. So, and uh, yeah. So just don't be stupid. Just be yourself. Just. Just don't drink and drive. Just and plus, especially don't text and drive. That's been a big issue this week too. There's been a lot of texting and driving and accidents, and and plus cell phone on one hand on the wheel. That's not safe, guys. Don't do that. Okay. Think about your life before you answer your phone. 
on the while you're driving. Okay? Anyway, take care, guys.